Hi, once again to welcome to Art Studio. My name is Wayne Clements, your host. We're going to go straight into a painting here. Before I do that, we're just going to go around our palette, okay? So I've got our titanium white here, straight out of the tube. Got a little bit of oil into it as well. Uh, we probably won't be using that, maybe. It's a phthalo blue and green with some white. Got some yellow ochre, going to be using plenty of that. Bit of our Mars violet, bit of orange I've mixed. We've also got some burnt umber, some raw umber. I've also got some... Um, Blue violet, and I've got some greens that I've mixed up. We've got a bit of a sap green that I've mixed, and I've added a bit of white to it to uh, tint it. And that's the colour we'll be using for our highlights over our um, over our bush scene. We're going to be painting. Also, going to be painting a little shack in here as well. So we're not even going to have a sketch. We're going to get straight into it, and we can do that through just giving us a little bit of a sketch with uh, just to keep our colours, our lights away from our darks. So I'll go with a nice light colour. So we're going to have a little. A little shack just in here, a little shack just there, so we can highlight this by doing that. And so don't pay too much attention to this, it's just a bit of a guide. And then out there, the little shack, and across there as well, out the back. Okay, there it is. That's pretty well our shape, so now we can go around that. That's all I really needed to do. And I'm going to pick up some, uh, actually I haven't got a lot of these colours out, so that's a good thing. So you can see how I mix my colours as well. And I'll do that, well actually we'll pick up a little bit of the uh, ultramarine. So we've got that here in our violet. We're going to be putting in a jacaranda in this scene somewhere along the way. So I'm going to get a little bit of this uh, ultramarine in the sky colour. A little bit light, if anything. We'll darken it up just with a little bit of that colour from our uh, blue violet. And here we go, we're ready to go into the sky. This should look good. Here we are, straight into it. Pick up a bit of uh, linseed oil and gum turfs just on the end of your brush. Give it a touch up with the tissue just to make sure there's not too much on there. We've got the feel of it. We're going to have our blue up here in the sky. Okay, this is also going to be predominantly white there, so I can get that in as well. And also going to have a bit of light down the bottom here at the base of the painting, and right up into the foreground. Okay, so I can go straight into our ultramarine and white. So we've tinted our ultramarine blue with some white, and that's the result. Very nice colour, actually. That might even get in, get in a few uh, a few darker ones, a few darker spots just up in the in the clouds, up in the sky, on the top there too. So, and we can do that right now. So you can pick up a little bit of that blue up in there, darken it up just a little bit, and give it a bit of a swirl around. So we got that cloudy looking effect. It's all over the place. So there we go. We can leave that right there. Now I'm going to go around my palette, or not around my canvas actually, with uh, with some colour. I've just got to block this in now. So, not a bad idea if you can do this. And just gently put that bit of a border around your, your scene there that you've got happening. And got a little bit of a awning out there as well so we'll make sure we get around that and that's going to be dark underneath there just get this away from our painting a little bit or away from our little hut that's all I'm concerned about we don't want to really contaminate this area in here because once we do it makes it all harder to get it the way we want it so there we are get a few of those greens in there as well so we're just mixing those up should come up really nice this. We'll make sure it does. Here we go. Okay, a little bit around the back here as well. Now we can actually pick up a bigger brush. So we'll get rid of our smaller one. We've got our pretty good edges on that hut there, the little house, so we can just go around it now with uh, a bigger brush and we can probably use one of these. So I'm going to pick up some darks here and slip it into that blue as well and a little bit of that green. So that's the effect we're after. 
Just a bit of a swirling action happening there. And don't forget the green. In fact, we can actually clean that up like that. Get those darks in first. Here we are over here as well. Don't make anything too uniform, we know that. Last thing we want. And here we go. Some darks over here as well. So pick up those darks, get them in. Coming right under edge, about awning of our hut there. And just a matter of getting that colour back in there now. So I'm going to go straight over this with a bit of this green that we've got happening. And give it a little bit of definition. Not too much because it's not that critical in this painting, but the background as is, I mean. All paintings are critical, but let's have a look at this. See what we can make of this one. Okay, just slight steadiness there, that canvas. Okay. That's probably all we want. I'm just going to get a little bit more colour back in here because we don't want to, yep, don't want too many dark spots around there in that area. So that's looking pretty well okay. Now, I need to get some yellow ochre happening before I go too much further. And we can do that, pick up a little bit of white and into the bottom of the hut, a little shack here and coming out into the foreground. So I'm going to actually put a little bit of this in here as well this time, so see if we can get a bit of that darkness happening back in there. I like it. We can get a bit of that burnt umber over that as well, it'll just look really good. A bit of that red and green complementary is happening there, that's always a good look. Okay, let's have a look here. We've got some darks in there as well. We need to get them nice and dark. Now we can pretty well leave that for the moment and actually throw in a few lights and we'll do that through just spreading our paint out right here. Get that nice and thin or you won't pick it up properly. So that's a little bit stiff. So these are all good things for you to watch. So I found that's a little bit firm so I'll just thin it a little bit more because when I pick it up on the brush, I want it to be able to come off. That's much better. Okay, I just got the feel of it there. Now, before I do that, I'm going to stick in a few of these twigs and branches and things that we got happening. And they don't have to be everywhere, just the impression. Once again, that's all we're after. Just the impression of what's happening. Always looks better. Keep your few of these straight, always looks good too. Nice straight ones. So in other words, just experiment. Try, instead of running your, your trees out like that, try running them straight in a painting, just to mix it up. It looks good, they look like nice big tall gums. And then you can throw your branches out towards the end. But that's given it a lot of definition there, look at that. Okay. Looking good, and we're just going to put in a bit of light on the side of those as well. So I'm going to use a bit of my um, Mars Violet there. We've got our lights coming from left to right, so I'm coming across here. Take that one back right down if you can. And another one there. Up here as well. Get those lights in with the darks. Okay. If you hit and miss a few, don't worry about it because we don't want them all the same strength. Uh, that's what gives us that gives us that depth is when you get one looking a bit stronger than the other. So he's in front of that one, and that one's behind that one. That's the sort of effect we're looking at. So we don't want the same we don't want the same value of colour. In other words, the intensity, lightness, and darkness of that colour everywhere. And that goes for everything, with whether it's foliage or whatever it is. So mix it up, make it look interesting. Okay, here we go. We're going to put a bit of light on here now. And we're going to do that through picking up this brush. It's already dirty. We're not worried about that. 
and we're just going to pick that up there and steady the canvas. Have a look at this, looking good. Don't forget our lights coming across this way, so you can actually steady your, your hand on the canvas if you got my problem and just pat those down if you think it's a little bit too stark pat it down a little bit and you'll take that paint off I'm just going to steady that there with my hand on that hut this is looking good we're coming underneath here now so mix it up coming back out into that light a bit of light here as well looking good so we've got a light coming across here there it is hitting that little bush there once again and have lots of fun you can change your brushes if you like just to experiment there we are now all I need to do with that is just give it a quick little tidy up with some of our, just our bits and pieces of foliage here and there bring those branches through the foliage that's the way and just going to pick up that as well, make sure it looks as if it's going right up. You're not going to see all of it of course, bring this one down just a little bit. Okay, getting good definition there now, that's looking good. Okay, I reckon we could uh, start working on the hut shortly. And just before we do, we're going to uh, have a quick break. I'll mix up a little bit of colour while we're just having a break. And we're going to come back shortly. And it's looking good. We're going to put in a jacaranda in here somewhere in this painting. So we'll have a look. We'll get it up to the stage where the jacaranda is going and we're going to see what happens, see where we can put it. I know I don't plan my paintings very well, do I? But I've got a fair idea where I'm going to put it. Uh, we'll come back and we'll, um, we'll see you then. 